we captivate it, we can now utilize the GPS capabilities of mobile devices to deliver location-aware courses. Let's see a quick demonstration on how you can use this capability. In Captivate 8, we have now added this new variable CP Info Geolocation. This variable will help you locate the latitude and longitude of your learner's uh, location and allow you to deliver content accordingly. To make use of this uh, variable, the first thing you have to do is you have to create a user variable. So let's go ahead and add a new variable. Here you will write the name of the location. I am based out of Bangalore, so I will write Bangalore and here instead of this uh, text or numerical value, we need a place where we can add the latitude and longitude. For that, you have to go and check this box which is geolocation. As soon as you do that, you get these three boxes and here you have to add the value. In latitude and longitude sections, you have to add values in decimals and in accuracy, you have to add the value in meters. To find out the latitude and longitude of the location, you can go to any uh, website which allows you to find the location of the place. So here I'll just go ahead and type Bangalore and find it. So I can, I have found the latitude and longitude of Bangalore. All I have to do is I have to copy this and paste it in the uh, latitude and longitude section. Along with that, if it's a big area, like Bangalore is a big city, I can go ahead and add a very high number for accuracy because it is in meters. But if you want to uh, get the exact location of a place, you can keep this accuracy level to really small number like 5 meters or 10 meters. So it really depends on how you're using it. So here I can, I can add a big number and my uh, user variable is ready. Let me just um, add a big number here and I will uh, save this variable. Then you can go ahead and write your advanced actions where you can show, hide uh, objects or play audio or do any action that you want. Let me show you how we have used the geolocation feature in this particular course. So here we have created two locations. One is uh, US and the other location is uh, UK. So let's go ahead and see what we have done. So I'll close this and let me open the advanced actions section. Here you will notice that there is a, a conditional action where we are checking whether the value of CP info geolocation is UK location. If that's true, it will show the objects that are related to UK. In this course, what we have done is we've added different headers for different cities and we have also added uh, separate audio tracks for both the courses. So the narration that you hear for UK based course has a, a UK accent and the narration that is there in the US based course is US accent. We've done that by uh, adding the audio to the objects instead of placing it at, at the slide level and we are showing and hiding it based on the geolocation information. So here we have checked whether the location is UK. If it is UK, it shows this. Otherwise, it shows this. In this, three conditions are being fulfilled. One is that if it is UK, it will show all these things. If it's US, it will show this. And if it is any other location like Australia or Asia or India, it will show uh, the US version of the course. So with that, I'll just close this and let me show you what are these objects. So if you uh, go to this particular slide, you can see that there is this UK branding here. And if I hide this, you can see that there is the JFK branding available over here. So this is one of the ways you can use location aware learning and uh, my colleague Dr. Alan Partridge has created this course where there's a park near his house in Oregon and uh, he uh, in that park there are some uh, places where you have uh, planets. So what he's done is he has used um, geolocation for identifying those celestial bodies and as soon as they move to that area, they get to see the slides related to Sun, Mercury, Venus. It's very exciting to use this particular uh, feature. I have also tried using it along with JavaScript and it works beautifully. So go ahead and give it a try.